Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you beautiful French defense miniature. This is the game between Mishvatan Anand and Nenad Sulava that was played in Corsica Masters Tournament in 2004. Where is Corsica? Corsica is a French island in the Mediterranean Sea. And also, Napoleon Bonaparte was born in Corsica. In this game, Anand had white pieces and he started with e4. Sulava played e6 and after d4, d5 we have French defense. Knight to c3, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on e4, knight to d7, knight to f3, knight from g to f6, bishop to g5, pinning knight, h6, knight takes on f6, knight takes on f6, bishop to h4, and black played c5, attacking pawn on d4. Okay, in this position, the most common move is bishop to c4, but Anand didn't play that. He played knight to e5, tempting black to capture pawn on d4. Black can capture it with the pawn or with queen. But he played a6. Let's go back. Why he didn't take pawn with pawn? Would you do it? If pawn takes pawn, that would be a big mistake. Because bishop to b5, check. And after bishop to d7, for example, everything is losing now. After bishop to d7, bishop takes. And how do you take bishop? You can't. That is losing totally for black. Going back, if black takes pawn with queen, then we would have this variation. Bishop to b5 again, this is check. Bishop to d7, queen takes queen, pawn takes on d4, knight takes on d7, knight takes on d7, castling queen side. White has developed all his pieces, he's got two bishops, king is safe, no weaknesses. And what black has? Black has an extra pawn, which he is going to lose shortly. He developed only knight, and that knight is pinned. And of course, black didn't want to go for that position. He played a6 to prevent bishop from coming to b5. Bishop played c3. Bishop to e7 and pinning. Pawn takes pawn. Looks like that um, Anand is simplifying the position and black was happy with that position looks very quiet but it is deceivingly quiet because in this position anand played a winning move what is the winning move if you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find it are you ready the move is rook to d8 check Black captured, and then captured on f7, this is fork, check, and attacking rook, king to e7, knight takes rook, and if only black can trap knight, he would be doing fine, but he can't trap it. He played g5, bishop to g3, knight to e4, and then played bishop to d3, and believe it or not, black resigned. Why he resigned? He could have fight, fought on, but let's see what would happen if he played the best moves. Okay, knight to f6, then knight from h, of course only h, to g6. This is check. And king to e8. This is one of the variations. This is not, not the only one, but perhaps h, h4 could be played after g4, bishop to f4, attacking pawn. And after h5, bishop to g5. This is one of the variations that could have been played. And uh, black has no compensation for his lost pawn. And uh, he felt he had no chance against Anand. Maybe he would have continued against weaker opponent, but he didn't against Anand. So in move 17, after bishop to d3, he resigned. And it all happened after that 
move rook to d8 from quiet looking position rook to d8 and that was it and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now